What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you why these tiny little stickers are a game changer and why you should add them to your smart home. Let's jump in. This is a NFC tag, a small little sticker or tag that you can place almost anywhere and can program to do various actions such as turning off all your lights and locking your door from the outside. You can also get directions from a list of play places that you can create. You can also open specific playlists from Spotify. Although with Spotify, you do have to manually press play. It will not auto play. You can also put a NFC tag under a counter in your kitchen to toggle your lights on or off. Or you can put one on your nightstand that will run different scenes depending on the time of day. So if you tap this NFC tag during the day, then it will turn your lights to full brightness. But if you tap this tag at night, then it will turn off all the lights in the house, lock the doors, and set your temperature to a certain temperature. And so much more. The possibilities of automations with these NFC tags is truly endless. At the very end of this video, I will show you how to use NFC tags with automations. So you can have your lights turn on to a specific color at a specific brightness and between a specific time period, but on specific days and have them automatically turn off after a specific number of minutes. These NFC tags are probably my favorite smart home accessory. The tags use near field communication to transmit information between your phone and the tag, which is the same technology that is used in Apple Pay. They come in a variety of colors. They make some that work indoors or outdoors. NFC tags will work on the iPhone XS or later by using in the free shortcuts app provided by Apple. If you do have a older iPhone, then you will have to use a third party app and I will leave some good ones down in the description down below. To set up a NFC tag, open the shortcuts app, tap the automation tab, tap the plus icon on the top right, choose create personal automation, scroll down to NFC, then tap scan, and then put up your phone to the NFC tag, give this tag a name, and now you can add actions such as controlling your smart home devices or getting direct Directions. Now, I would recommend creating a separate shortcut for these NFC tags so you can use the same shortcut on multiple automations instead of just one shortcut that can only be used on a NFC tag. Pro tip, if you add the vibrate action at the very top of the shortcut, whenever you place your phone up to a NFC tag, then your phone will physically vibrate. That way you know that the connection worked and that your NFC tag Worked. By using a basic if then statement, you can have your lights turn on or off depending on what they currently are. If they are off, they will turn on. If they were on, then they will turn off. Now, each shortcut is tied to one specific tag, but you can have multiple phones that talk to one specific tag. So, for example, whenever I place my phone up to one tag, it may run a certain automation. But if my wife places her phone on the same tag, it may run a different set of automations. And this is great because I have a tag on the outside of my door and I don't want, you know, everybody coming up to un to unlock or lock my door. So now this tag will only work with my phone. And if somebody else tries to use this tag to unlock or lock my door, then nothing will happen happen, which is great. You can get creative with these tags by placing them behind wall plates so nobody can see them and only you know that they are there. And shout out to Shane Watley for this very creative idea. On Shane Watley's channel, he shows you how to build an easy smart home with HomeKit and his videos are super helpful and amazing. And I will leave a link right up here and also down in the description down below if you want to go out and check out his channel. I've put a NFC tag in my laundry room behind the wall plate. So whenever I tap my phone up to it, it will automatically set a timer for 45 minutes, which is about how long it takes for my washing machine to wash my clothes. Now keep in mind that NFC tags do not work on metal. I tried to put a NFC tag on my laundry machine and whenever I went to put my phone up to it, nothing would happen. But whenever I moved it to behind the wall plate, everything was good. So just keep in mind that these tags will not work on metal. I've also put one behind my bathroom wall plate. So in the morning, it will turn on my lights to a warm white as I'm leaving the bathroom so I can make some coffee. And I have one in my office to turn on or off all the lights in my office. You can also use NFC tags with automations. So whenever my studio light turns off between 6.30 and 17 a.m am my kitchen lights turn on to 50 percent with a warm color and then will automatically turn off after three minutes this automation is created using the home plus 
4 app. The Home Plus 4 app is great for creating advanced automations like this one. And it is not free, it's about 15 bucks. But if you are a serious HomeKit user and love automations, I would highly recommend you to check out that app. And I will leave a link to that in the description below. Open the Home Plus 4 app, tap the Automation tab, and then tap the plus sign. Choose Create Event Trigger, and then give this event a name. Tap Save, then under When This Happens, choose Add Event, and then tap Accessory State, and then choose your light. So in my case, it's my ceiling light. Tap Power State, then Off and then now tap save. Under the condition, choose time of day, tap from and choose your beginning time, then tap two to choose your ending time, now click save. Go back to add condition and choose your days that you want this automation to run on. And for me, it's Monday through Friday. Now tap save. And then under perform actions, tap add action, then tap add action or scene. Choose your accessory and then, then choose your power state, your brightness and your color for all of your lights. And now under the undo actions tab tap add countdown and how long you want the automation to wait until it turns off all the lights so in my case i chose for three minutes and now tap save so now when my ceiling light turns off with a nfc tag between 6 30 a.m to 17 a.m on monday through friday my kitchen lights will turn on to 50 percent at a warm color and automatically turn off after three minutes now that is wicked there are so many creative automations that you can do with NFC tags. Let me know your favorite ones down in the description below. If you want to see a complete smart home tour of my house, tap this video right here and here's another video that I think you will like and I'll see you in the next video.